वेलकम बैक टू ऑफ्टोलमोलॉजी फॉर अंडर ग्रेजुएट एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट बिगनेस इन दी कैट्रैक्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन दईवा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एन इमेच्योर कॉटिकल कैट्रैक्ट मेच्योर कॉटिकल कैट्रैक्ट हाइपर मेच्योर कॉटिकल कैट्रैक्ट न्यूक्लियर कैट्रैक्ट ग्रेड वन टू एंड थ्री एंड न्यूक्लियर कैट्रैक्ट फोर एंड फाइव फर्स्ट डिफरेंस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज दी कलर ऑफ द लेंस In immature cortical cataract, the color of the lens will be grayish white in color. In mature cataract, the lens will be white in color or pearly white in color. In hyper mature cataract, the lens will be milky white in color. It may have a sunset appearance or there may be a sclerosis. In case of nuclear cataract, depending upon the grade one, two, and three, the lens may be grey or green color. It may be yellow in color or amber in color. In nuclear cataracts, grade four and five, it may be brown or black in color. As far as the iris shadow is concerned, it will be present in immature cortical cataract. It will be absent in mature and hyper mature cataract. It will be seen in case of nuclear cataract grade one, two, and three, but that will not be so much appreciated like a immature cortical cataract in nuclear cataract grade 4 and 5 you will not see any iris shadow when we talk about the visual acuity what will be present in each of these cataracts the immature cataract the vision can be normal or it may get reduced up to counting fingers close to the face in mature cataract the vision will be either appreciation of hand movements or perception of light only in hyper mature cataract you will have only perception of light in nuclear cataract the vision may once again be 6 bar 6 to counting fingers close to the face depending upon the grading of this nuclear cataract in nuclear cataract grade 4 and 5 the vision may be hand movements are perception of light only and talking about the differences in the purkinje images in immature cortical cataract 1 2 and 3 images that is the reflections from the anterior surface of the cornea posterior surface of the cornea and the anterior surface of the lens will be seen the fourth image which is the reflection from the posterior surface of the lens is distorted is not so clear in mature cataract the fourth image is absent in hyper mature cataract too the fourth image is absent In nuclear cataract this is just like the immature cortical cataract in nuclear cataract grade 4 and 5 it is similar to a mature cataract now let us see what is the difference in doing an ophthalmoscopy or fundus examination in a patient why do we need to do an ophthalmoscopy in case of cataract we want to rule out whether the posterior segment that is the retina macula optic nerve and vitreous whether they are normal or not In case of immature cortical cataract and nuclear cataract grade one, two, and three, fundus examination is possible. You can do an ophthalmoscopy, and you can make out whether the posterior segment structures are normal or not. Only when the cataract is very dense, it is not possible. But in case of mature cataract, hyper mature cataract, and nuclear cataract grade four and five. because of the increased density of the cataract and the full lens being affected the light will not penetrate the lens so it is not possible to see the fundus using an ophthalmoscopy so in order to make sure the posterior segment is normal or not we have to do a b scan macular function test and retinal function test in case of mature cataract nuclear cataract grade 4 and 5 and hyper mature cataract now we are going to see three differences one is the pinhole test other is the retinoscopy other is the spectacular correction if the vision improves with pinhole then we can do a retinoscopy and we can give spectacular corrections for the patient that is what we have learned before in the previous videos In pinhole test, in immature cataract and nuclear cataract grade one, two, and three, the visual acuity may improve. May improve. 
it may not improve when the central opacity is very dense but most of the times it will improve when it improves you can do a retinoscopy that is a objective estimation of refractory error of the eye or you can do a auto refractometer when you can do that you can give a subjective correction and give spectacles for the patient so in immature cortical cataract and nuclear cataract pin hole test will improve the vision pin hole test if it improves then you can do a retinoscopy you can give us spectacle corrections but in case of mature cataract hypermature cataract and nuclear cataract grade 4 and 5 pin hole test will not improve the visual acuity thereby the retinoscopy and spectacle corrections are not possible let us see what will be the refractory error in case of these cataracts when there is a increased opacity of the lens you cannot assess any type of refractory error but in case of immature cortical cataract and nuclear cataract you can assess the refractory error and give spectacle corrections most commonly in case of immature cortical cataract you will have a hypermetropia in case of nuclear cataract grade 1 to 3 the patient will have myopia next commonest question asked in the examination is what is second sight in case of aging or due to senility what happens is the lens loses its power of accommodation when the lens loses its power of accommodation people will not be able to see near things clearly usually this occurs around the age of 40 years when people are not able to do the near vision work or reading and writing that is called as presbyopia if suppose a patient having a presbyopia develops a nuclear cataract what is the refractory error that comes in nuclear cataract a patient with nuclear cataract will develop myopia so a nuclear cataract patient developing a myopia in myopia the near things will be clear distant things may not be clear for the patient so a patient already who has lost the near vision because of loss of accommodation now because of the development of nuclear cataract they develop myopia once again they are able to do the near work like reading writing and near minute works so they get back the vision near vision once again so that is called as second sight they are getting back the sight for the second time for near vision but the patient will not be able to see clearly at the distance with this we will stop here today we will discuss more things in the next session thank you